Hello. How's it going? Um, something's weird with my microphone stand. Give me a second. Let's see if I can adjust it. Okay. Hopefully, I'm not making too much noise. Oh lord. Okay. Um, what's up? I'm back. I'm here to play Etrian Odyssey. Because, um, you know, I'm hoping it's going to be cool. What the heck is this? What is this game? Dragon Quest Treasures. It's a hidden object game. What does that mean? Okay, I don't know what that means, but whatever. The game's on sale on Steam, I guess. If anybody wants to try it. Also, a bunch of Lunar New Year sales. Apparently. Uh, on Steam. It was this Murders on the Yangtze River. Apparently it's a, a detective puzzle type game. English language not supported. Well... That's fun. Let's go ahead and just start the actual game that I'm here to play. Um, yeah, so last time I explored more of the 12th floor and I was able to finish that floor after beating the floor boss, the Ant Queen. It was extremely close. I almost died, but I didn't. Uh, and now... I'm walking around on the 13th floor. I don't really know what's going on. Um, but, oops, you know. What's new, right? It's just, there's always something new in the, uh, in the land of the dungeon, I suppose. Uh, I'm assuming there's no equipment. I'm, I'm sure I would have bought the best equipment already for all my dudes. Yeah, to get this bow, I need bat wings, which I can presumably get from the bat. Let's not the Explorer's Guild. Let's go to Rotta Hole. Not accept the mission. Let's report our discoveries. That was a lot of new monsters. Wow, okay. All kinds of new things to explore. Let me see if there's any quests I can take. There are. And I can take both of them. So why not? For some reason, the ants on the 12th floor become vicious during certain times of year. A lot of adventurers fall victim to them in those times. I'd like you to find out the reason this happens. If we know why, we might find a way to deal with it. Good luck out there. So true. And now what's this? You said I'd take the request, have you? The pearl our client lost was a precious gift from her lover. If you search B11F where she encountered the monsters with large horns, you may be able to get it back. Careful though, that monster is too powerful even for someone as strong as her. I think I'll be fine. I'm pretty strong myself, just saying. Okay, so... Let's see... 12th floor... I want to go up here and then down there, and then it's an easy trek to the 13th floor. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm better off just going down the stairs, right? That makes more sense than going into the hole. And hopefully I don't have to fight as many rats, or not rats, as many ants this time around. Because those ants were freaking annoying. There was also like all the crocodile dudes, which I hope I don't have to fight because the crocodiles, um were pretty tough and they made me use a lot of my energy on them but I'm pretty sure I killed a decent number of the ones in that area so I'm assuming I'll be fine well, hopefully I have an Ariadne thread I do I have a bunch I'm, I'm good okay 
So I've already explored a decent amount of this floor, assuming that there's no like lower or upper section that I'm missing. I mean, it's possible. Anything's possible. But a lot of this area is water, so I'm just going to assume that there's not a ton of places that I can go around here. Oops. Going the wrong way. That's why it's easiest just to always face up and then use the... Uh... I mean, this is what I'm looking at most of the games. I'm actually just looking at this top right minimap to decide where I'm supposed to go. Uh, assuming that I've already explored the area. I don't know, it's just easier for me, I guess. Let's go ahead and heal up. Let me make sure my guys don't get wrecked. It does kind of feel like there's... I don't know, some hidden entrances around here, though, doesn't it? It feels like there's just a bunch of random hallways. Oh, whatever. I don't see nothing. <laughs> so... I'm not gonna worry about it. Shiny goo. I'm getting some shiny goo. Didn't the dudes die? I'm pretty sure some dudes died. Oh no, that was against the ant boss. I have two levels. Oh, but it's on Alphonse, though. Um, should I level up? Fire up? I don't know. I kind of want to hold on to my skill points. Because I feel like the boss is not... Of this floor is not going to be weak to fire. So it's like, why even bother? Like, a, like, I don't need to make Alex stronger right now. It might be best just to save up the skill points and then use them to level up a skill that'll be strong against the floor's boss. I will keep leveling up Apollon, though. That's That started to do some really good damage. Uh, let's just go... This way. I'm fortunate that I can defeat most of these enemies pretty easily just by giving them a few smacks. Okay, so here is stairs to a lower level. That is good to know. I would like to explore down here though, just to see if there's anything interesting. Doesn't really seem like it, does it? <laughs> Alright, let's erase that. Draw in this. Boom, 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 boom. Unless there's like some hidden entrance here. It doesn't seem like there is. Okay. Oh, that's fine. I don't know why I'm walking weird. It, I, feel, I keep feeling like there's some hidden map mechanics or something that I'm missing. Because there's like the odd colored lines, but I think it's just because it's based on the, um, the grid. The grid is split up into like different uh, sections. Okay. Alice. Um, should I level up Salve 2 more? I feel like I want to just level up Salve Cure 3. Resistance to all elements. <clears throat> like, is Immunize better than... Um, the Protector skills? I don't think so, right? Like, I feel like the Protector skills are better than Immunize, even though it costs more skill points to get them to be actually good. Hmm. Maybe I should level up self too, though. The AoE heal. Because also the speed. Like if, I can get, if I can get more speed on self too, that could also be pretty useful. I don't know if patch up is even that useful anymore now that I have um, 
healing touch, right? It's like I get literally one mana to full heal. I think patch up is actually useless. It's kind of interesting. It's like two skill points. Like when I got it, it was kind of useful, but now it's not, right? It's almost like I regret getting it now that I'm a higher level. What the? Um, okay, there's there's a flower boat. Whatever heck this is supposed to mean. Um. What? How do I even draw this? I guess I can use like this arrow. Erase this, and then continue to, nope, erase this, there we go, okay, interesting, oh there's a foe over there, that's exciting, <laughs> um, I mean screw it, I'll get back on here. Oh, and now I'm fighting mobs. Vambats. Tons of bat wings. That's good. I like seeing that. Because uh, I need some bat wings to get the bow. Chop. Chop, chop, chop. Alright, I, I guess I should take alimony down here at some point. Get some more materials. I don't think I've done any scavenging on this stratum yet. Uh, maybe I did on like the 11th floor. I might have done some mining on the 11th floor. But now I got chopping on the 14th floor. Okay. Well, I found the flower boat. <laughs> I guess it was worth it to take it. Doesn't really seem like there was any disadvantage. Aha, but there's another flower boat. Ooh, what the heck is this thing? It's like a flying fish. He seems dang tanky too, by the way. Swordfish. That was not... Well, I guess you can call it a swordfish. I, I don't know if I would call it a swordfish. Okay. Here we got another... Flower boat. So it goes from here to here. You know what I should do? Hold up. Oops. I should have done it like this. And then up here, I'll do it like this. To better indicate like which tiles exactly it leads to. Okay. Uh, there's another boat here, I guess. Get on there. Um, okay. I don't think I'm going to have enough arrows. <laughs> Again, every time I feel like I have a uh, usage for the arrows and then I get trolled again by the game. Giving me way too many things to draw arrows for. Okay. There was also a foe somewhere over here which I'm curious how to get to. Um, let's go ahead and put oops, here and here to indicate there are some boats here. Uh, let's go ahead and just take this one because it's easy. Okay. Delete this. Draw the arrow from here to here. Okay. Walls here and here. Looks like this. 
Kind of an interesting floor. Another chop. Okay. Alright. Well, let's get back on the boat. <laughs> oh god. It's a crab. Oh wow, he's quite tanky. Oh my god, what's happening? Stop using auto battle. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. I've kind of trolled. <laughs> That's fine. Um, we'll hit you. We're going to use... Thunder on you. You know, let's use South just in case something crazy happens. Yeah, I do remember fighting this dude. I did it on the... Uh, first floor. Or not the first, the second stratum. I don't know why I said first floor. I did it in the second stratum. I fought this guy. Uh, he was the one who was blocking the um, flow of water, I believe. Okay. Cool. Let's go ahead and hit him with a few regular moves. Okay, and I think he's almost dead, so I think we'll be fine just to smack him a little bit. You know what, let's use uh, Stunner though, just to make sure he's finished off. Okay, well that was easy. <laughs> Red Blade. Killing Touch. Embark on the boat. That was good. <laughs> Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Arrow. And I have no more arrows. My god. Okay. Ay, uh, yeah, yeah. alright. I'm just gonna have to get rid of these arrows, man. There's no point in them. I'm just gonna have to memorize it. I mean, it's pretty easy. Like, they're pretty much all straight paths anyways, so whatever. Okay, well this one is not as typical. It's like a weird little island looking thing. Okay. Um, let's... Sure, let's hop on here. Yeah, takes me right over here. And it looks like maybe there is a uh, path over here. That I can take. Okay. And there's a flower boat. Oh my god, this freaking cut crab. Let's do it. Let's start actually spreading our damage appropriately. Now that there's enemies that are weak to elements again, and resistant to all physical. Nice. Go over here. Okay. My goodness. So I was able to get on this boat, but then I can't get back to where I was. Oh, okay. Oh my god, that actually almost jump scared me. <laughs> you reach a lake within the forest that seems as vast as an ocean. 
As you look about in wonder, a shadow suddenly appears before you. I warn thee, step no further into this veil. As the shadow steps into the light, it is revealed to be a youthful seeming girl. Oh. Her glare at you, however, smacks more of malice than innocence. This reminds me of the Godzilla animated movie. The second one in particular. They're not very good if you're curious. Well, I don't know. I mean, they're like kind of okay-ish. I heard the third one sucks though. I haven't seen that one yet. I've seen the first two. I am Kupala, and this land is our sacred ground. Woe betide any who trespass. The girl disappears as quickly as she came. Could she be the humanoid life form? You cannot shake off the feeling of unresolved business in the forest and decide to go deeper. <laughs> of course. Okay, so then it would seem that this direction is the intended path. Which means I should not go down that path. I should instead explore. Okay, there's a foe. There's a freaking foe. Oh, he's gone. Okay. I would have loved to have, you know, fought him or something, but it's fine, I guess. Oh my god. Okay. You mother trucker, dude. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, hold up. We're gonna provoke. You're gonna stun here. You are going to trigger. No, you're gonna appallen. And you're gonna Thor. And you're gonna salve too, because Al's almost dead. Cool. Okay. So you're appallen. I'll go ahead and trickery you just so that you're kinda like disabled for the rest of the fight. Attack you. Attack you. I don't really like using thunder. 225, that was it? That was the Apollon, bro? That was so useless. Aha, you're disabled. Let's use a thunder. Why not? Cool. Alright, dead. Uh, okay, I think I've made an error because there's nothing over here to explore. Or no, there was. Never mind, I'm silly. There was this island over here. Totally forgot about it. So lesson learned, if I take too long fighting enemies, I'll get attacked by a crab. Or something like that. Silly? Oh god, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Very good. I don't wish to be victim of crab. Boom, level 10. Okay. Lower defense and max HP in return for greatly strengthened attacks. So, I mean, War Cry is definitely just a worse version of Hell Cry, right? So, like, I shouldn't even bother with War Cry if that's the way I want to go. I am curious, like, is Crush gonna do more damage at max rank than Stunner? Probably, right? But is it even worth to max out Crush, or should I just max out Hellcry first? I mean, how much damage does Hellcry do? It's gotta do a crazy amount. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. I don't really care. Um, okay. So, like this. This will lead me somewhere new. 
Okay, <laughs> never mind. Directly into a tree. Sweet. If I had to guess, it looks something like this. Okay, I was correct. And then it goes here, which will lead over here. Um, okay. Sure. Why not? Um... Okay, so there's a flower boat that'll lead me back to the center island. It's not really what I want, though. I feel like maybe I should be putting these arrows or something to indicate where the flower boats are. Maybe that would have been smart. This one goes there, this one goes here, this one goes here. Let's try going this way. Oh my god, okay, this is kind of scary. I mean, it's not really scary, but it's just... We're back on, like, an actual location. Rather than some weird, small-looking island. Um, let's try going this way first. This is a hallway. And hallways are exciting. Was fun. Whatever, dude. I'm sure I'll be fine against the crab this time, right? Yeah. See, I'm not next to water, so the killer crab is not going to show up to fight me. I actually don't remember what his name is. It was something like Deathclaw. Silly like that. Ooh. Okay, interesting. I was not expecting uh, a hidden stairwell. Is there anything around? Nope. Yowza, I'm getting ambushed. That'll be fine. Smack him a little bit. Cool. Okay. And this is... Stairway up. Uh, what? I'm getting lost. <laughs> uh, I mean, let's go. Whatever. Alright, there's much to explore still. Apparently. Here is stairway down. There's a wall here and a wall here. Okay. Okay, wait, this is just a Okay, this is just a block. <laughs> that was smart. Uh, let's go this way. This is a take. Aha! And this is a chop. Sweet. Is this a shortcut? I wonder if there's a shortcut. That would be useful. Uh, it's just water. <laughs> I don't think there's any shortcuts. It's just freaking water. And auto battle is uh, 
Auto battle's nice, I gotta admit. Whenever my party's like actually capable of auto battling, that's just so convenient. What can I say? Okay, looks like I'm walking a pretty far away. It's a very long floor, isn't it? Like just one massive hallway. Maybe I should be facing this way in case there's anything cool. There wasn't. Right? Am I gonna get the ability to like walk on water at some point? That would be useful. This is a tank. This. Is a chop. Okay, we've got a few takes and a few chops on this floor. chest. I hope this contains a really strong bow or really good staff. I feel like we haven't had a single good staff the entire game. Amrita 2. How is it possible to always disappoint me? Like with every single chest that I open just get more and more depressed. I accidentally knocked on my microphone. Sorry about that. <laughs> and hit my microphone stand again. I don't know if you heard that. Probably. Oh, well, never mind. If I do it again, it actually doesn't really make a noise. I'm gonna drink some water. Um, what was that? <laughs> why, why was there a crab standing in front of me? That was a little bit scary. Um, let's go ahead and finish going down this hallway. Uh, okay, just leads back around here. Oh, no, it doesn't. Hey, never mind. Let me uh, go back to that other area and see what's up. Wow, Alex is almost dead. When did that happen? Go ahead and do a full heal with Alice. You know what, honestly? I probably don't need the TP increasing equipment at this point. Like, an increase of 9 TP is not that useful on casters, I feel like. The Violet Key! You obtain a purple crystal shard that emits a wondrous light. It releases a low pitch and a dazzling glow as if resonating with something. Perhaps it opens the purple crystal doors and twine... Purple crystals entwined with ivy seen elsewhere in the labyrinth. Okay, there we go. We got the purple key. I'm glad I went over here. And you know what that means. We're gonna go on a freaking journey. Because uh, there is a purple door. On the 11th floor, which is the first floor of the stratum. Oh shoot, my inventory is full. Um, I don't know. I guess gum throat is probably easy. I mean, whatever. Let's get rid of the equipment, right? I was not expecting my inventory to just fill up. I'm just destroying that hard. And I don't really want to have to come all the way back here because it's kind of a long journey. So I'd rather just finish exploring right now, if possible. Let's get rid of the random crap that I get from loot along the way. Like, do I really need more elastics? 
Probably not, right? We got so much elastic. Okay, another chest. Let's go ahead and drop carapace. Sure. I can always get more. Bang a glove. That sounds like it could be good. Uh, it kind of is good. Defense plus four, strength plus two. So it really it's just trading tech for defense. So it's really not even that useful. It's like one extra defense. It's, it's technically better. So there you go. done exploring this area. Freaking bug nest. I don't need another gum throat, do I? I probably got a bajillion of them. Okay. Sweet. I believe this is the entire area. Explored. Let me just... I don't know. I'm a little, no, there's a bunch of water there. Okay. Let's get out of here. Schlicker. Red blade. I don't even know what dropped the red blade. It must have been the, the crab. The mega crab. Okay, I am kind of rich and I just got a ton of crap unlocked. Great axe. Worse than the birdish. Odachi. That would be really good. If I had a Ronin on my team, which I don't. Uh, seven doublet is pretty freaking good. Full armor is also good. Huh. So full armor is more defense. Uh, scale helmet is just straight up four defense, which is meh. Okay, well, let's go ahead and equip the full armor on these dudes. I don't think I want the seven doublet. Like the extra TP would be... Oh, I can't even equip it on these guys. Never mind. Yeah. But then I will put the 7 doublet on my backliners. That's a pretty good item to get on them. That's plus 10. While also being a really good defensive option. So that makes it worth it. I don't think I care about this freaking scale helm. I think I prefer the 10 TP from the star charm for Al. Because his TP his scaling is so low. Minus two, defense plus one. I don't think that's worth it. All right. And then accessory, no extra accessories. All right. And I'm almost out of money. How? <laughs> I don't understand. All right. Not bad. You got a decent bit stronger for that go around. And now I can sleep. Boom. Um, okay. I mean, I know there's a purple crystal door on this floor. It's literally right there. I don't know if there are any on other floors, though. I never fully explored the third floor. I'm probably... I should probably go back and do that. Because, um... This is where the quest to fight the golem is. Although the golem is pretty tanky, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if I should do that. There's no purple door. No purple door. Uh... Did I? It's still a locked door. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Sixth stratum, there's no purple door. Seventh stratum, no purple door. Eighth stratum, there's no... Oh no, there is a purple door on the eighth stratum. 
the ninth, there is no... Tenth, there is a purple door. And then the third, there's a purple door. Okay. Hmm. Alright, whatever. We'll just... We'll just go. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just start on the first stratum. One-shotting these little... Easy guys. It's no big deal. No big deal. Aha, we've done it. There are two items here. A Nectar 2. And another Nectar 2. Oh no, it's a gem staff. But is the gem staff what I already have? Or is it better than what I have? It is what I have already. So that was a waste. Thank you, game. <laughs> I mean, I can't really blame the game, I guess, but you know. Alright. Gosh, I'm. I'm getting lost in the dungeon and then I'm encountering enemies every two steps. I can undo. Oh, undo is a map feature. You can undo an edit that you made. Interesting. So I guess maybe that would be useful if you like accidentally make a marking but you don't remember what it was. Maybe you like accidentally replace a symbol or something, I don't know. Oh, this is going to take a second. This is going to take a while. How many god dang enemies, bro? Okay, yeah, and this is not going to be a quick journey either. <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna freaking area any threat out of here after the third floor, I'll tell you what. Also, I'm going the wrong way, man. Dang it, because I don't think there's a shortcut there, unfortunately. I remember when these guys were beating me up. The fat rabbits. I mean, really, all these enemies used to beat me up at some point. But now, now I take them, take them down like they're nothing. Does the the music still play when I get in a foe encounter? Oh, okay, it does. I don't remember if there's different foe music on the different stratums, or not. I will take this opportunity to fight this stalker. Because... He still has a drop that I haven't seen. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and look it up. Because I just want to know... How to get this drop. Uh... I must kill it in one turn. Oh, that's easy. He's dead. <laughs> okay. Isn't the golem here? Hold up. There's definitely... Oh, here he is. This is the golem. Alright, let's see if we can fight him. She's blinded. That's fine. Okay, so let's use flame. Two thirty-three. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, I bound him. 205. He's almost dead. That's not good. Um, maybe I can stun him. Disable. I wasn't really paying attention, so I don't actually remember how much damage the attack did. 206. Okay, I think he's resistant to lightning, at the very least. That's how it seems to me. Resistant to lightning. Let me use freeze again, because I forgot how much damage it did. Okay, he's mega resistant to ice? Oh no. He has elemental resistance because of ward. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I think I need to re-up on trickery. Defend. Stun. Apollon. He's resistant to elemental, so there's not really a reason for me to use magic attacks, I feel like. Oh, but now he's like super resistant to physical. Okay. Well then, I can't even do anything to him. He's just mega tanky right now. Yeah, Pollen still did a lot of damage, actually. Okay. Uh, hold up. I need to provoke again. And then use trickery. And then let's use flame. 224. He's trickery, provoked, freeze, cure three, mega blinded, that's cool. Okay, I missed the, god dang it, I didn't, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the freeze damage again, so I don't actually know how much damage it was doing. Uh, that's, okay. Um, can I boost the Apollo? Probably, right? Let's go ahead and just uh, cure blind from everybody. How much damage does Silencer just do? Did I see that right? Silencer did like 900 damage? Am I tripping? Also, I wasn't paying attention to how much damage Freeze was doing. Okay. Look intensely. 198. Okay. Flame is definitely the way to go. He is weak to flame. Not by a lot, but it's... Something. I need to re-up on... Provoke. And Trickery. Let's use Cure 3 on Alphonse. 375, that was boosted. Alphonse is dead. Okay. Provoke. Stun. <laughs> Disable. Boost. Lame. And let's use salve. Okay, nice. We made it. We're gonna stun you, you're disabled. Let's just attack you, I guess. Lame. And then I can probably get away with a cure two here in Alphonse. Okay, trickery is only going to last one more turn. Um, that's fine. We'll tree up on trickery. Use flame. And then screw it. We can probably attack with Alice. 
I forgot that she can learn like an actual attack skill. I wonder if that would be worth trying to actually do. Um, should I save Trickery and Disable, or should I just go for an Apollon? I mean, Apollon is a lot of damage, actually. Especially now that he's warded, although he might ward. Or he might block. Oh, his health is regenerating. Well, that's not very good. I don't know if I can do anything about that. Gain 280 health. I think that's more damage than I'm dealing. So that's not good. Okay. Well, don't worry. I'm going to start doing damage here soon. I did actually read somewhere on the wiki about this boss fight where, like, you know, it's nice to have a character that can remove buffs since he buffs himself a lot, especially the heal. It's quite powerful. Um, and I can see why the wiki would say that. He keeps regening. So can I just, like, I just can't win? <laughs> What's going on? Alright, guys. I may have softlocked myself. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually beat the infinite healing. It might be a GG. Two on Alphonse. Okay, well, let's see if he uses regen again. Okay, he re he's regening again. You know what? That's fine. We'll just die. It's no big deal. Okay, so. If I could have killed him while he was bound, maybe we could have done something there? Right? Like, maybe I bind him and then I hit him? Okay, well. I can probably just one-shot this dude, right? I don't even need to worry. Okay. Yeah, I'm chilling. I already know the layout of this floor, but, you know, just for the sake of saying I've been here. Cool. Okay. Man, that is rough. I was so close to defeating the golem, and yet so far... Oh, that's alright. I'll come back later when I can actually one-shot him. How about that? <laughs> um, Let's use the Ariadne threat. And now we know. Now we know. So, I could actually level up my flame skill and end up doing a lot more damage. Because I don't think I have anybody right now that can remove buffs. I probably need, like, the Troubadour Dark Hunter for that. Or maybe Hexer can do it. I, I don't know. Um, but I do have a Harvester from the Stalker, which could be something. Nope. Got me nothing. Literally nothing. No, all that doesn't matter. I don't need it. Get rid of the Medica. Get rid of the Brabant 2. The Amrita 2. I only need a couple of these. And... 
Let's buy some Ariadne threads. Uh, okay. Geomagnetic field. Let's go to the primitive jungle. And then go to the eighth lore, right? That's what I want to do. There's a shortcut here. Sweet. Alright. Yeah, the second stratum has a lot of enemies that, like, only rarely drop items. God, those shortcuts are so nice. I'm, like, almost instantly on the eighth floor already. Then I can easily get down to the ninth floor, too. Because of all these shortcuts that they have um, there. Okay. Door. Oh, there's a lot of chests in here. Better be good. Moccasins. Okay. I can see there being something there. Hamao. Oh, dang. Oh my god, wait, there's like seven freaking chests in here, man. Medica 5? That's the highest level Medica I've seen so far. I'm still not going to use it, but... Like, that's cool, I guess. Eh, get out of my way. Five hundred N. A thousand N. Okay. Cool. All righty. Curious to see the things that I picked up. I'm guessing Hamo is just another consumable, to be honest. The moccasins. Moccasins could be interesting on ally, I guess. I can't even equip it there. <laughs> I can probably only put it on... Okay, well... <sighs> I mean, even though the extra TP is not that big of a deal, still, it's like it is something. It's probably better than just agility. Drink the water. Cool. I wonder if I can fight the dragon. Like if I would be able to win. I also don't remember what these foes are in this area. Okay, let's go over here. And down here, and then down here. Okay. I'm on the 10th floor. So now I want to get over here. Easy. Flower dudes die insta. Is this another mammoth? Oh, it's a moa. I can probably one-shot the moa. He doesn't even do any damage to me anymore. Yeah, I'm way beyond that level now. See, now I'm wondering, is it going to be faster to go back up here and around, or just go all the way back here and just go through the double arrows? Actually, of course it'd be faster to just use the Ariadne thread, wouldn't it? Let's just do that and then teleport to the 11th floor. That'd be way easier. Okay. We've got two scorpions here. I'm sure I'll be fine, but just in case... 
I don't want to have to waste, you know, 20 minutes getting back here. Um, weak to lightning. Thunder. Oh. It's dead. Okay. Well, you're also dead. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Now what's in here? The moment of truth. It's three chests, as you'd expect. A gem staff. Okay, completely useless. A nectar two, also useless. And 1400N, also useless. Okay. Well. That was fun. <laughs> Just a bunch of completely worthless items that I don't care about. Very good. Sell the gem staff. I'll keep the moccasins for now. You never know. Um... God, I've got so many freaking nectars. Do I even care about the nectars? Not really, right? Because I have... Um... Alice. So I would only need the nectar to revive Alice, really. Alright. Uh, should I rest? Like, I have most of my mana, but... It's gonna be a long journey, honestly, so screw it. I'll just go ahead and rest for safety purposes. I've got an hour left in the stream. I'm, like, low-key not even convinced that I'm going to be able to explore this entire area. Because last time, we had, like, a mega secret area. And it took, like, 10,000 years to friggin' um, get through it all. That was the area that connected B5F and B3F. But, you know, I am stronger now, so who knows. Although, I've had to, if I have to fight one of these turtles, I mean, then I might be screwed. I level up from Alex. I think that makes three points. Three skill points is a lot of skill points. I almost feel like I should have just been leveling up the actual skill rather than the fire up or whatever, but... Whatever, it's fine. Um, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go here, so... Let's walk around. Figure it out as we go. Okay. I'm guessing this is the correct way, or something, along those lines, so let's go back up here, just to see what the deal is, right? And obviously, most of the enemies on this floor are relatively simple to kill. My guys are typically strong enough to one-shot them, so a little bit of extra exploration doesn't hurt. Misclicked. Well, that was fun. You know, sometimes a little bit of extra exploration does hurt. Just a little bit of, like, mental fatigue. <laughs> it's like, okay, there's just nothing there. Wheat. There's a guy over there. Oh, there's a crocodile. Okay, oh, he's resistant to thrusting attacks. That makes sense. Luckily, I don't use thrusting attacks that much. Uh, I guess I should fight him for real since I'm, you know. Not exactly gonna have a free win here. 
Uh, well, he's not that strong, I guess. But still. Well, yeah, let's not use allies at mana too much here. Doesn't really seem necessary, does it? Okay. Can I just auto battle my way? Oh lord. Yeah, screw it, let's auto battle. <laughs> Easy. I don't know how he hit my entire team, like whatever move it was, I have no idea. There are a lot of crocs in here, it seems. Uh, okay. So, and this probably connects up here somehow. Uh, yep. Make sure this connects right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. Probably another gator. Provoke, stun, trickery, and freeze. Attack, stun. I mean, whatever. I might as well use an actual attack on ally at some point, right? It'll be useful. And then I can auto battle my way to victory. And there we go. Apollon did something. Okay. There are so many paths in here. God dang it. I mean, the good news is once I've actually explored this area, then, you know, later on... If I need to come back here, I'll know exactly where to go. Um, I mean, I almost do want to upgrade Hellcry. It's like, I, I feel like it'd probably be pretty good against bosses. The alternative is two hit. But a lot of the time I'm using skills anyways, honestly. So it's like, do I even care? I think so. Screw it, let's level up Hellcry. We'll see if that ends up being useful or not. Level up Pollen. Alex has three points. Could put it into Fire Up, could put it into just Freeze. I bet Freeze would be good to level up. Um, Salve 2, Cure 3. Hmm. Or Caduceus. And make her actually be able to do damage. I have to invest 20 levels in Caduceus, though. To make it so it actually does damage. As opposed to, what, 12 to get Salve 2 and Cure 3 up to max? Like, I don't know. I'll level up Caduceus as the last thing. I do. How about that? I almost do want to level up Cure, though, honestly. Like, the thing is, Alphonse usually has a lot of mana, but maybe, like, if I started leveling up or started using some of these other skills more, like the Ice Wall or whatever, maybe that would be different. Um, oh, Smite has a chance of binding enemies' arms. I need Shieldmaster to be at 10 and Fortify to be at 5. Oh, but I need it to be, like, high level for it to bind arms. That would be the only arm-binding skill that I have right now. On Guard is still something that I'm looking at. I think I'm just going to hang on to the skill points still. I'm just not sure what to use them on, and, like, I feel like levels are going to start getting tight. To get further into the game. Like, there's no way I'm leveling up 15 times every stratum, right? That's a lot of levels. But then again, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. 
Okay. Bats. Sweet. <laughs> Another level for Alphonse. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess let's go down here since there's probably nothing here. Cool. There's not even like a secret, secret shortcut. Just nothing. I'm gonna run out of inventory space by the time I even get done exploring here, man. I have so many random items. I still can't get over that side quest to spend five in-game days in the dungeon. It's like, what? <laughs> And the reward was so mediocre, and it took me, like, an hour of real lifetime to do. It was... absurd. It was honestly just an excuse to grind. Okay. Let's go down here. Nice. I'm pretty now. Here's the good news. I'm pretty sure once I get through this floor, the other floors are gonna be super simple to explore, like super just straight paths. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Could be wrong though. You know what? No, because I would have seen that. I was wondering if there was going to be like a hidden path in between here. There could be a hidden path here, but there'd be no point in that. Then it's not even really a shortcut, right? I'm just looking for shortcuts everywhere now. Ever since I looked at the wiki and saw there were like 17 shortcuts on the other floors that I've been on that I just never found. Just like they're everywhere. I actually really think the artwork is pretty interesting in this game. I don't know. Like, I don't know how it, oops. I don't know, whoa. <laughs> well, there's the stairs. Um, I don't know how it looked in the original release, because I don't remember what it looked like. But, um, I don't know. It's, a, it's just a nice, like, change of pace, it feels like. Please be a shortcut somewhere. There is no shortcut. Game hates me. At least there's a chest. A seven doublet. That would be so cool if I didn't literally just buy three of them. My party. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just think the enemies look kind of interesting. And I like it. Going up. Back in B10F. Let's go. Now, I think we're going to go all the way up to like B8F. Maybe. Oh, no. We're going up to B7F. Minimum. We might even go to B6F. I'm not joking. We're going to B7F minimum, though. So, yeah. We're in for the long haul. As I've mentioned, uh, get this off my screen, dude. Okay. This is the stairs down, and these are walls. And let me face upward just in case there's anything. Any secret passages? I don't think there's gonna be any. Got some bam bats. This guy, they're not very strong. Oh, 
Well, I mean, I guess they're a little bit tanky, but they don't do that much damage to me is really what I meant. Well, there's not a lot of enemies that do a ton of damage to me anymore. Unless they're like, you know, foes or whatever. In which case, I don't really count that. This is pretty fun, though. I'm just going down a massive hallway. That's really what this game is, isn't it? Hallway simulator. I kind of like these, like, little side quests, though. They're not, you know, actual side quests, but it's like the unexplored areas that you had on the previous floors you can now get to because you found this key. Right? And it's like the areas are actually way bigger than what you were allowed to explore previously. Oh. oh okay. That was fun. <laughs> well, here we go. Did I mark that properly? Oops. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, so this is the floor down. This is that. And then there's this over here, which is nothing. Okay. Cool. I don't really remember what this area was supposed to look like according to the wiki. I don't think it was too crazy. It's probably just mostly like a giant hallway. I would hope. Gum throat. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's a giant hallway with a bunch of foes. Oh my god, they're moas? Okay, this is going to be free. Trust me, this is going to be so easy. I think the entire hallway is just moas. Moa after moa after moa. Like, you're doing 18 to my back line, dude. You used to, like, do half their health. The MOA is the entire reason why I got Salve as a skill. <laughs> By the way. That's how intimidating they used to be. And now they're nothing. Gone. Reduced to atoms. 13 damage on Alice. Bro, you fell off. I'm not even getting experience from fighting them, really. It's like... I'm getting more experience from the random enemies that I'm fighting. Sad. Yeah, but there are a lot of them though. There's like a bajillion of them. So it's still gonna take us a while. But at least we already completed a floor today, right? I finished the 13th floor. I'm honestly almost done with the 14th floor. I'm pretty sure. Because most of that floor is just random islands. So... Yeah, I think I'm done with most of the exploring in the stratum, unless the 15th floor is uh, pretty crazy. Which it definitely could be. What the heck was that? Yeah, I don't know what that noise was, but it was kind of terrifying. <laughs> I thought we were going to get like invaded by the devil. It was shorter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be the entire length of the floor. I'm thankful that it wasn't. Okay. I think there's a bunch of guys here as well, though. Uh, down? Watch this guy. This might be an assassin? Oh, it's a kill claw. Oh, hold up. Dude, these guys are actually kind of scary. 
Um. Let's use a salve. I should have healed outside of battle. Boost Thunder Attack. Dang, should I have provoked? I probably should have just provoked. I mean, it's so cheap. I'm a fool. Okay, let's just auto battle. Alright. Here we go. Healing Touch. There's going to be a lot of kill claws here. Hopefully less kill claws than there were Moas. But still. Might be a little bit annoying. Because they are actually kind of tanky. Because they're resistant to physical, right? And it's not like Alex is particularly strong with these skills, honestly. I probably should have spent... Some skill points leveling up these elemental attacks, but I don't know. Oh, stunned. Easy. Okay, Alex might run out of manas before we get done with this. Oh god, I shouldn't have auto battled. I don't know why I did that. Alright, boost me. Crush him. You boost. And you use a pollen. And you don't use anything. Attack. No, maybe I should defend. Attack, attack, attack. Salve? Yeah, the salve damage is not bad, it's 200. I do wish it was a little bit higher. I think Alphonse will be fine. He can tank. Alphonse is dead. Uh, that's fine. Alice has a lot of mana, so... No big deal. It's a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, you know, if I could have chosen between him dying and him not dying, I would have chosen for him not to die. Oh, that might have been the last guy here, though. So, um... Hold on. These guys, okay, they're resistant to slash. But nothing else. Why are they so tanky? This part feels, feels like it's impossible to kill those guys. So we've got more of these orange tiles. I'm wondering what the red paint mark is going to be for. Also, if my memory serves correctly, the next floor is like entirely spike tiles. So, you know, that should be fun, right? Wait, this isn't right. Blue tile there, red tile here. Okay. There we go. Something like this, probably. And then this is the floor up. Yeah, Trail of Enduring Pain. That's what this is called. It's gonna be a lot of pain. Believe me. Uh, stairwell down. And it's like this. And then it's like this. And now here we go. God dang, bro. I'm almost freaking dead. Okay. Oh. Controller disconnect. Okay, luckily, you know, as I've mentioned several times, Alice is able to heal outside of battle for essentially zero mana. So, you know, that's pretty chill. Um, 
Now, what would be ideal is if I could discover some sort of shortcut on this floor. And in fact, I'm pretty sure Odyssey B7F map. I'm pretty sure there is some shortcut on this floor. There is. So I might end up just taking that. That way I can, you know, like go home and then come back. I guess it's a little bit cheating. But whatever, Who's who hasn't cheated a little bit in their life, right? Oh my god, I, Al is almost dead. Al, come back to me. You're not ready to die yet, my friend. Okay. Once the marker gets to red, I should probably heal. So I'm probably about to fight somebody. Oh my god, there's another freaking hallway. <laughs> I thought it was going to be over. Alright, pencil. Pencil. Here we go. We can take a couple more steps. Okay, let's, let's not take a couple more steps. I'm guessing these spikes do like a percentage health damage or something, right? That would make sense to me. I don't remember them doing this much damage previously. It must be percentage based. Oh god. Okay. Um. Provoke. Attack. Attack. Thor. And salve too? I'm very fortunate they did not decide to attack the same people. Swordfish fin. Okay. Here we go. Door. Don't worry, there's more spikes. <laughs> um, okay, this entire floor is essentially spikes. Which is why I would like to leave, and then probably come back here later. Um, because there's going to be a boss that shows up in this area. And, uh, yeah, the items you can get here are, like, nothing. So, it's fine. Um, so let's just do like this. Chest here, Medica. And then there is a hidden exit here. Here. Cool. Okay. Fantastic. I will go back there another time. Well, there's not really anything left to explore, honestly. It's just, like I said, a bunch of spike tiles. And there will be a boss that spawns there eventually, so... Whenever the boss spawns, I'll go back there. I'll explore more and I'll fight the boss. How about that? That sounds fair to me. Or seems fair to me. Sweet. <laughs> What's not fair is constantly disconnecting my controller. Oh! I got a, not, a lot of new items. I'm surprised. A war mace. It lowers the tech by 4, but increases the attack by a lot. I care about that though. 
Probably not, right? Plate mail. Okay, plate mail is like the full armor, but basically just better. Ooh, ice resist. Now that is good. I could also equip my guy with the body aspis to give him a ton of defense. And some ice resist, which could actually be quite nice. Ooh, gum glove increases tech by two. Hmm. Decrease HP, but increase defense by four. I feel like I do want to put the body aspis on him. Why is his armor... Or why is, uh... Why is his defense more than Alphonse's? That's crazy to me. Whatever. Um... I do like the star charm because his TP is so low, but God, it's hard to say no to that much extra defense. I almost want to say the same thing about the gum helm. It's like, yeah, it would feel kind of bad to lose some TP, but the extra tech, well, but it's only two. It's two tech in exchange for the TP, like... Like, if I had more TP, I could just use the spell more, which will deal more damage in the end, so... Maybe I'll leave it. Uh, what else can I sell here? Sell the other seven doublet. Sure, that's fine. Alright, let's just rest. I wish my guy, I got a little under 30 minutes. That should be enough time to do something. Probably. Honestly, the third stratum is pretty quick to get through, it feels like. Once you actually know where you're supposed to go. Right, it's like, I don't even need to go through this floor, essentially. I don't even really need to go through the 12th floor either. Because, um, you know, I just go up and then it's right there. It's pretty fast. And then the 14th floor is just a bunch of little islands, which I can easily traverse through. So, yeah, no, man, it's, a, uh, it ain't too bad. I just wish there was some hidden shortcut here. Maybe there is. Should I look it up? And I've already explored the floor doesn't hurt, does it? doesn't hurt to look at the map of floors I've already explored. B11. Oh, interesting. There is actually a shortcut on this floor, but it's not anywhere useful. On B11, I should say. B12. Oh, that's kind of funny. There's actually a shortcut directly into the queen's nest. Saves just a little bit of time. Uh, oh, and there is a shortcut on this floor. There's two of them, in fact. You know what? I'm actually going to do this one first. Give me a second. Boop. Cool. <laughs> it's like this one barely even saves time, but whatever. A few tiles that I won't have to walk over. And now, this place has got a couple good ones. So this is the 13th floor, right? Yeah. Okay. God dang, if I had those short. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to do so much walking right now. <laughs> if I just had those shortcuts, it would be so simple. I must have just been not even bothering to look because of all the water. But there's actually like a decent number of places where there's no water, right? So like right here, there's just walls. In fact, <clears throat> excuse me, spoiler alert. Uh, oh, looked like there was a crab coming to get me. One of the shortcuts in this area actually does connect to the 
entry staircase. You can probably guess where it is since there's not many places that it could be. There's also a shortcut that connects to the spring. Which is kind of cool. So I can actually uh, hit that up real quick. Boom. Do that. I guess I could just put the markings on the map and then like, you know, feel them out afterwards. I feel them out, I mean like go to them <laughs> to make them orange. All right, there we go. I'll go ahead and refresh myself. Don't mind if I do. More enemies. As always, there's always enemies. I got enemies everywhere. Okay. I won't quite use... Uh... I guess let's go down. I won't quite use the map here yet, since I haven't actually fully explored this floor. But, like, I do know of the foe that's over there, and I know of no way to get there. There's a dude here. By a dude, I mean a flower boat. <laughs> okay, and then there's a boat here. I forgot to take alimony with me. Not that I necessarily want to, but... You know, I should take him to this floor at some point. Especially now that I have all of the different mining spots. I've got a chop, a take, and a mine. All the mining spots, so I got confused for a second. Like, I don't know where I'm going to end up going from here. Like, maybe s somewhere to the south? Oh yeah, there is a boat that goes to the south here. Um, oh, and there was this island here, which I probably could have gotten to from up there. I draw that there's like an island here that I haven't been to. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I don't know, I'm confusing myself, I think. I, I shouldn't have drawn these walls here because there's no walls. A Medica 3? Bro? On the third stratum? You're giving me a Medica 3? Okay. So this boat is going to take me... Okay. The boat is going to take me somewhere off on an adventure. Oh, okay. So now I'm here. Oh my god, Jesus, this place is insane. There's a boat here, 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 and here. Um, where should I go? I guess I'll head over here first. Uh, okay. Boat here. Here, here. It, oh. Okay, so there's actually just nothing here. <laughs> And there's legitimately just nothing here. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. That was fun. Uh, I forgot to put a marker up here. Uh, let's go down. Okay, there's this here. Aha, I've made it to a chest. And it's here, <laughs> right in front of me.
Ice Mist. Yay. So I guess, I mean, the boss must use ice attacks on this floor, right? Because I think that's like the second ice mist we've gotten. And obviously, like, some of the foes use ice moves, like the turtle. So it must be the case. Look at that. Looking. I didn't even realize that was a tree at first. I don't know what I thought it was. Yeah. The boss must use ice moves. But what if they're also resistant? Or uh, weak to ice, excuse me. That would be interesting. Okay. Okay, so this is probably how I get to that foe. I was in that place. And then this leads me to some island somewhere. This place, you know, I actually think this floor is pretty cool. Just because it's like... You know, it's kind of like a puzzle trying to figure out, like, which flower bow goes where. Okay, so here's the foe. Let's save. <laughs> Let's see what this guy's all about, right? Oh, it's just a muck dial. What the heck? I thought he was going to be... I don't know, whatever. I thought it was going to be, like, an actual mob. But that's fine. God dang, 362 damage is how much I'm doing. I'm I'm gonna be really interested to see how much damage he does when he gets uh when I get Hellcry all the way up to max level and use that. Probably gonna be insane damage. Gator skin. Okay. Uh, so it goes what like this? Hama. Oh my god. Well. Oh wait, there's another chest. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, whatever. It's fine. I didn't want anything useful anyways. Okay. Then what's over here? Uh, more boats. As you might expect. Mark them. Put the flower boat here. Get on the flower boat. And now I'm here. Uh, okay. So this goes back here. This is a wall. This is a wall. This is not a wall. And it goes something like this, I guess. And there's two flower boats. So one that goes here and then one that goes here. Did I mark this correctly? I, I don't know where this goes. Interesting. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to come back to this floor because there are some places I haven't gone to yet. But I just want to... Oh, God. Okay. Uh, the Yowza. I was not expecting that. Weak to all. Of damage. Alex is dead. Well, unlucky. Don't worry, my friend, you're back. <laughs> Barely. Um, yeah, let's try and bind him. Whatever. Three hundred damage. Yeah, the stun doesn't do as much damage, does it? That's not what I meant to do. Well, I might as well follow through on it. <laughs> cool. 
Honestly, stun doesn't do that much. Or, um... What is it called? I Stunner doesn't do that much more damage than Silencer. I feel like it's almost equivalent damage. Okay. Cool. We did it. We found the entrance to the next floor. The question is, should I explore more now or later? I might as well do it now, I feel like. I mean, I'm already here. It's kind of like fresh in my mind. This will be, maybe this will be the last thing we do this stream. So I'm curious to see where this flower boat goes over here. It doesn't connect to one of those other islands on the right or the east side. It must be its own little thing. It is its own little thing. Ah, oh, there's literally nothing here. Okay. Well, there we go. Maybe this will be important for a side quest later. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so there's the flower that goes up here. There's also one that goes to the right here. Let's get in this one. Not Alphonse. Okay. Cool. Well, I misjudged where the island was over here, but <laughs> at least I marked that there was one. Uh, and there's actually quite a few places that I can go. Which is to say that I can go like basically anywhere. Well, this should lead me to a different island, and this would actually lead me back to where I originally thought it was going to lead me, which is kind of ironic. Um, so I don't want to go down, I don't want to go here, so let's go up. Okay. I'm now in some kind of long island. Okay. Okay. Is this not just going to lead me back to the entrance? Okay. Sweet. Um, you know what I'm realizing? That there's a flower here that exists. Okay. I don't know why I thought something else was going to happen there. Okay, I think uh, I've explored this area sufficiently. If I've missed anything, I've got the wiki. <laughs> the wiki will be my friend. For now, let's just go ahead and check out the 15th floor. I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to be able to beat the boss, okay? Last time I said I wouldn't be able to beat the boss... And I was. But this time, I'm definitely not. Now, this was a really cool floor, actually. I, uh, I enjoyed it, for sure. I'm, I don't think there's going to be any other floors that have this mechanic, though. Which is kind of funny. It's like the trap holes. There's probably going to be other floors that have trap holes, but like... Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe there's going to be other floors that have flower boats. Who knows? I wouldn't bet on it. go down. Lord of the Celestial Ocean. Uh, so this is the staircase up. And then this looks like this. Okay. Back to the old reliable having always 
indoors. Okay. Open the chest. Get a scale boot. And a blaze oil. Oh, I almost wonder if the boss is going to be weak to fire. So it is an ice boss, potentially, right? So maybe I'm smart to hold on to my uh, skill points. Ooh. As you navigate the blue forest, you sense a strong, imminent threat from by beyond the door. Even with your experience thus far, the presence is stronger than anything you've faced. Are you ready for anything? Have you prepared yourself to confront any creature? If you have confidence in your skills, then open the door and meet your fate. No way that I'm about to fight the freaking boss of the floor immediately. I, I, I don't believe that. But, what if? <laughs> okay, hold up. Let's just... You know, let's do a little scouting mission, okay? If this is actually, like, a boss... There's no boss here. Where's the boss? As you continue through the brush, you come across a vast expanse of water. It's as if an ocean was suddenly transported to the middle of the forest. Within the blue tinted oasis, you will see a distant shadow. You slowly approach it. It is the humanoid girl you encountered before. She raises a shrill cry, seeing you. Trespassers from the sealed lands, by what right do thou desecrate our sacred ground? Their presence here violates the ancient pact between our peoples. I have warned thee, but thou paid me no heed. Face then the guardian of our holy land. With this, the inhuman girl gives a sharp, high-pitched whistle. The sound resonates through the forest, and a huge creature appears in response. Hear me, Koatrangal, smite these vile intruders. Such is the girl's cry before vanishing into the forest, but you have no time for pursuit. The monster that flies through the air is easily as swimming is about to attack. Okay. Let's use Silencer. I wish I had more mana. We'll start with Flame. No, well... I guess I'll start with the weaker spells, just to, like, you know, test the waters. 134. Okay. Two. So definitely don't use ice moves. <laughs> that is what I've learned. I'm guessing he's going to be weak to fire. Makes sense. Okay, yeah. So he's weak to fire. Okay. Resistant to ice, weak to fire. I could use ice wall. Although he is silenced right now because he's bound. He's also missing like every attack. Should I even be using stunner or should I... Um, should I hold out for silencer? Maybe I should use hell cry. Screw it. Now let's boost or disable. Now let's use flame. It actually just hasn't hit me a single time. Which is kind of hilarious. Okay, so he's hell cried for four turns. Let's use a provoke. Now let's see how much damage stunner does. I'm curious to see how much extra it'll do. Is this actually the boss? Like, I feel like he's literally doing nothing. Okay, well now I'm bound like crazy, so that's unfortunate. I wasn't able to provoke either. Dang, and I don't have the skill to remove bindings. Um, well then. That's unfortunate. Oh. Remember how much extra damage this is doing <laughs> compared to usual. 455 on my stunner. I feel like it was doing around 300 damage before, so 
I mean, if that is the case, that is actually a significant amount more. Oh my god, I was almost dead. I guess he does have a lower defense. I don't think defending is going to be useful, though. Dude, he's no longer bound. Fall in. Okay. Alphonse. Let's defend with Alphonse. Silencer. Disable. Flame. And attack. Is he dead? The dread monster begins to slowly fall before your eyes. The shadow behind the collapsing horror has apparently already escaped. But where it lurks, you find a stone tablet engraved with a mysterious language. If it came from the unknown shadow, it may be a useful clue. Rudda Hall might know more. Is that for real, dude? Like, again, I'm, I'm always doubtful whenever I beat the boss so easily. That just seems unreal to me. And dang, this place is huge, though. Like, my god. Okay, so there's a hallway here, and a hallway here, and a hallway here, and a hallway here. And then there's this place. There's a hallway there, and a hallway up there. And then there's this. This is a hallway. Whatever, I'll come back here later. I just want to freaking get out of here. Okay. Well... There we go, I guess. Uh, I really did not think I was going to be able to beat the boss. But, you know what? Whatever. I came prepared, I guess, with trickery. And that's all it took. Sandy Barrens. And there's immediately a geomagnetic field right in front of me. Sweet. Uh, this is the staircase up. Boom. Okay, let's leave. What's up, Shilika? Huge fin is worth less than the freaking Croco skin. That's kind of hilarious to me. Bardiche. I already have a Bardiche with the bow. My god, let's go? Okay, allies actually gonna become useful? Especially with Apollyon, Jesus. Hi, you're back. I mean, uh, welcome to my shop. Here you stepped into parts of the forest that no soul has reached before. And it's breaking the game. That eager seal labyrinth. I wonder how deep it goes. Everyone tells me you met a mysterious beastie down in the third stratum. That true? Not just that, but a path behind it leading even deeper into the labyrinth. Well, it sounds exciting, but be careful. You don't know what's down there after all. Indeed. Ah, too. I heard you found that the labyrinth goes even deeper than the third stratum. I look forward to hearing about what mysteries and creatures lurk within that unknown place. Okay. He's got nothing useful to say. You also have nothing useful to say. What about you? So you did encounter this unknown life form and I dropped this stone tablet. If I'm not mistaken, this engraving is some language beyond our ken. I shall assign the Rada's best researchers to it. With enough study, we may gain insight into this girl's precise nature. We'll keep the tablet safe at Rada Hall. You should continue with her investigations. Ah, uh, and how could I forget? We have a hard reward for your hard work, of course. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Um... Well, I mean, I'm pretty much all geared out, so screw it. Let's just sleep and quit the game. All right, I didn't even need to level up Alex's skills. That's just how freaking strong he is. All right, 
Uh, well, that was fun. I was not expecting to beat the third Astratum this stream, I will say that much. Uh, my total playtime is 22.3 hours. I would say I'm approximately halfway through the game, um, at least for the main story. I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of side content as well as I know there is some post-game content. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess the 40 to 60 hour playtime is looking a lot more realistic after I just cruised through the 13th, 14th, and 15th floor. I mean, there's basically no exploration on the 15th floor at all. Maybe there is some, and I just need to actually like go do it. But um, hey, I'm okay with that. The game's uh, proceeding at a good pace, and uh, I like that. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for me for today's stream. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a good rest of your day or rest of your night. Whenever, wherever you are, you are. Whenever, wherever you are in the world while watching this. Uh, and I hope to see you all next time. Tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, same time that I normally stream, I will be back playing this game, exploring the fourth stratum, the Sandy Barrens, which is the first area that is not teeming with life, it would seem. It is, in fact, more like a desert. Maybe we'll see more of those mysterious humanoid-like creatures. Spoiler alert, we will uh, see them in the next stream, most likely. Hope to see you all there. I'm out of here. Peace.